Okay, this is video response uh, from Shen Musso. So yeah, I asked a question about how far retro games will rise in price and if they'll ever decline. And he asked for like opinions from other people about that. So my opinion is that it, it will be quite console dependent, possibly also title dependent. Uh, for instance, I think the snares will always be one of the most collectible and the prices for SNES games I've seen double in some cases in the last year or two so, and obviously less less become available more people pay for them because the rarer they are and I think PS1 games however seem to have declined a bit I've seen Final Fantasy games like 7 for instance especially yeah, no, you just cost you 25, 30 quid, and now you can get it for easily under under uh, 20. And that's not the case for all PS1 games, I guess. I think it's just the very, very rare ones, you know, like you'd Symphony of the Night and Tombi, uh, Sukaden. Those kind of games, I think they're probably rising still. But these, the games that have been re released on. Digital downloads, for instance, I think have dropped a bit, but who knows? And I think also people have clocked onto the fact that they can get a pretty penny for games that they got lying around in the loft. Because I think a lot of people would have owned uh, Final Fantasy VII back in the day and not really realised it was worth anything. As you can tell by the amount of times you find it, you know, cheap charity shops and car boots, it's quite a common find, really. Uh, and I've never really got any further back than SNES and PS1 so i not really got much opinion on Mega Drive stuff I uh, played Mega Drive games, never really bought any, it was just my dad's console he had so i not looked at any prices, never really picked any up because I don't see many about I have no idea what's happening with the Mega Drive uh, Digital affecting retro I can't see it affecting the prices too much uh, but I can't see it encouraging younger people to start collecting because if you're downloading games and you're not getting anything physical you're not gonna see them stacking up on your shelf thinking oh that looks alright I wanna fill the shelf, I wanna fill the bookcase it's not really gonna go that way I don't think if you can't actually own them if they know nothing but digital then they're not gonna expect to have it you know, they're not going to have grown up with the physicals, they're not going to want the physicals. Um, for instance, for me, I've only really recently started collecting. Most of the games I collect really are... Well, my biggest collection is uh, 360 games. But now I've started collecting... It's mainly just horror games on PlayStation 2 mainly, PS1, Xbox, things like that. What I can get my hand on. So Resident Evil Silent Hill to start with getting them. And that's kind of based on having a few Xbox games, thinking this looks cool, you know, I want to get more. <laughs> um hopefully physical copies still will be released. Especially collector's editions, you know, with the uh, artwork books, the tins. You can't really be a tin, <laughs> I love tins. And Sometimes you get your action figures, your playing cards, maps, all sorts. It's kind of thing that I like. I mean, I've got the Alduin thing off Skyrim, the beautiful art book which is up here. Like that, really, is why I want physical games. You can't download things like that. I mean, yeah, you could probably get a PDF, but it's not the same as it. So that's another reason I don't want to see uh, physical stuff go out. I've always had all my music that I still buy. I know a lot of I've seen a few replies already. They're saying they don't buy music. I buy all my music. If I'm downloading something, I don't see the point in paying for it. Really, I know a lot of people do, and I don't do any really illegal downloading. But I just wouldn't download something and pay for it because. I'd rather buy it and own it for the same price. <laughs> I'd much rather have a vinyl or a CD if they don't do the vinyl than just 
friggin data in my hard drive <laughs> but that's CDs and that's music um, where did we get to the rarity of games is obviously always going to go up they're not making these games anymore if you want them you're going to have to pay for them you know when all the collectors have got their own they're going to be stuck in that collection they're not going to be about as much they're going to get rarer and rarer the older they get and people will be prepared to pay that if they do really want them so in theory that will make the prices rise and it will also mean that sellers can exploit it because if you can sell a game for £80 you're not going to sell it for £40 if you know someone's going to pay 80 for it for example <coughs> and there's also back to digital um, if you're not a collector and you want to play a game for instance, Sonic. You can get it on the Xbox Live Arcade for 400 Microsoft points, which is about four quid. People are going to be doing that. You know, if they don't want to collect the games, rather than finding a Mega Drive, paying the postage for the Mega Drive, and then paying the postage on the Sonic game. Because unless it's cartridge only, you know, the game itself is going to be two or three quid to post. Because it won't go as a large letter, so and then God knows how much, you're going to be paying about £30 including postage minimum before you can play Sonic, whereas you can pay 4 quid, download it there before you've even had to go on your computer to look on eBay or Amazon or wherever and again Secret of Mana for instance, I fancied playing that and I got it on uh, my iPad for, it was either 3 or £5 if I wanted a box copy of that I'd be paying about £80 so as I don't yet, until I'm loaded, collect SNES stuff, because I want it box, I don't want cartridges. I'm not going to be on the SNES stuff. I'm playing SNES games, you know, if I can find them cheap, I'll play them, or whatever. Or if I can get other means, like the release the iOS stuff, I'll play them. Otherwise, not yet. <laughs> I'll wait till i got more money for those. And where did I get to? What I was saying with the sellers exploiting, I think the price is if someone's willing to pay it, providing there's two people and they both really want it, there's no limit to how much they'd pay. Like I saw a, it was probably just before Christmas, um, it was a Nintendo sealed a Link to the Past, went from £1,001 just because it's got a seal on it basically, and no end of bids, and it was I'm sure it was £1,001 for that. Whereas, you know, for the mink with the map, normal version, well, same version, but without the seal on it, you'd be paying less than a hundred, probably. <clears throat> and, you know, if the, as time goes on, the games aren't going to be there. People are going to be a bit more like, oh, what if it goes, what if it goes? They're going to be like, could be months, maybe even years before another listing's on. They really want it, they'll pay whatever they've got. You know, they might have limits, but I don't think there's going to be much in the way of them if they do really want that. So, to conclude the question and my answer, I think they will rise, but enjoying the digital age, uh, they may peak. I can't see that there'll be a major decline, but when the collectors have what they want, you know, they're not going to be buying it. There'll probably become a time where everyone that wants said title owns it. So if you want the right price for it, then you're going to be have to wait a while. It's like um, <laughs> if everyone that's got it's a collector, when they're selling it, they're going to be selling it as a collector. So unless there's a collector that's not got it, you know, there's just not going to be many in circulation from ten years. SNES games, you're not going to be seeing them in charity shops. I mean, you just don't really anyway now. You're probably not going to be seeing them at car boots. It's just all going to be eBay, and everyone's going to know what they're worth. So it's just going to be paying a lot, a lot of money. And they won't crop up as much either, I don't think. So for most retro, I'd say it's all going to go up. And I can't see it declining, even if it doesn't rise. So that is my response to the question asked. <laughs>